the taste lab of the Hebrew University. We're studying the sense of taste. There are five basic taste modalities. Salty, sour, sweet, umami, which means yummy, delicious, taim in Japanese. And of course, uh, the bitter taste. Commonly, it was thought that bitter taste was evolved in order to detect toxic substances and uh, avoid the uh, poisons. But actually, we know today that it's not entirely true. We know that many bitter compounds are very healthy for us and we need to consume them in our diet. It's a big problem, especially in the pharmaceutical industry, because a lot of drugs tend to be bitter. And uh, especially, it's problematic for children. We all remember as kids how horrible it is to take a very nasty drug. So we actually study what are the bitter molecules and what can we do about it? How can we mask the bitter taste of drugs? So specifically in my research, I uh, study the bitter taste with computational tools. So I use methods from uh, computer science and drug discovery to study the bitter molecules, to study the bitter taste, and actually uh, predict in advance uh, which molecules will be um, intensely bitter and which receptors will be activated by uh, these molecules. I use my algorithms, my computational predictions, then I give it to Lior. Lior can um, check this in cells. So in my research, I'm working with cells. I'm growing cells in our lab. And in my cells, I can express the specific taste receptor that I want to study. I can detect whether the receptor is uh, activated by a compound, so I can determine whether the compound is bitter or or not bitter or extremely bitter. The next step will be to give it to pharmaceutical companies to incorporate them inside the pills and then the kid could swallow the drug and it will be less bitter. And we can actually use this combination of big data and experimental um, approaches to, to uh, tackle this problem. Thank you.